Welcome to the video tutorial on using census data in Excel. I am Alexandra Barker, Data Dissemination Specialist with the Census Bureau. During this tutorial, you will learn how to create hierarchical charts using census data in Excel. In this section, we will explore two topics. First, we will look at how to search for detailed tables using the advanced search feature in the American Fact Finder. Then, we will modify and download a dataset and use that to create a hierarchical chart, which is a chart that highlights data in multiple categories. So, let's do it! First, in census.gov, go to the American Fact Finder. Once you are the American Fact Finder, just click in Advanced Search. So, let's say that for this example, we want to understand the income gap between males and females with different levels of education. So, just think about this example. What am I going to need to make this case? I'm going to need data that includes income, includes sex, and includes educational attainment. These are my three topics. So let's search the American Fact Finder using these three topics to find the exact table I need. For this example, we will look at national level data. You will not need to select a geography in the American Fact Finder since the US is the default geography. However, if you are interested in conducting the same analysis for a different or multiple geographies, you just need to click on the geography search option right here below topics and you'll be able to select any geography and multiple geographies. So now let's start working with our topics. Income, sex and educational attainment. When I click in topics, you see the first option is people. Our topics are related to people, so let's expand and check it out. First we find our topic sex right here. Let's click on and send it straight to our shopping basket. As you can see, the American Fact Finder is already filtering down for you as you build your query. Next in line comes here income. But wait, we have income for households and individuals. When you look at educational attainment, it's individual characteristics. Therefore, we need to compare with income earnings for individuals. So let's click Income Earnings for Individuals. We also need Education. So when you click in Education, just select your Educational Attainment. Once we have our three topics in our shopping basket, we can close this window and you see we have about 79 tables. This is the table ID, so most of the tables here are exactly the same. They are just available for different data sets, different years of the ACS, of the American Community Survey. Since we are looking at national level data, I'm going to choose the one year estimate of the B20004 table, medium earnings in the past 12 months, by sex, by education attainment for the population 25 years and older. Let's check this table. So here we have the title of the table and the table itself for the United States with the total population, male, female, different levels of education, and here you see the earnings of males and females and the total population. Quite often, you will want to analyze or visualize census data across several different categories. You may be already familiar with using Excel charts to map a single category but there are several charts in Excel that are particularly good for hierarchical data. An example of such data may be the average earning for people with varying levels of education broken down by gender. So earnings will be your data. Education is your category one and gender is your category two. With a bit of cleaning, we can do this with this table. So let's modify this. So let's click on Modify Table. 
and let's remove the margins up here and all the totals. We won't need the totals. We're just comparing males and females. Here we go. Now we can structure this data further in Excel. But we can take this opportunity to learn about another way to download census data. So with this, I'm just going to hide the table tools here. And my data, as you can see, is all clean, my data table. And when I click in download, you have two options. Download to use the data or to view the data. To use the data, you will get a common delimited file. When you view the data, you'll get an Excel file. Or you can also choose to be a PDF. Let's view the data. And I'm going to choose the Excel and click OK. Let's download and just open our Excel file. Your data is now exactly as you formatted, with a few extra columns and rows. And there is some verbiage which, once you read it, you can delete. But first, make sure you save this file as an Excel workbook, even though this is an Excel file already. The reason is that this is actually an Excel file in compatibility mode, which means it's meant to be used by someone with Excel version 97-2003. There are many features that are only available in more recent versions that you wanted to take advantage of. So let's save our file before we format it. Let's find a place in the computer and let's save as an Excel workbook. And now we'll call it Income Gap 1. Save. Because of the compatibility mode, you need to make sure you close this file and you open a new file that will not be in compatibility mode. This way you can take advantage of all the features. Now we are ready to clean up. So I'll start by deleting the verbiage. and deleting the rows that I don't need. Next, it's very important to delete the extra columns. So let's expand the columns and remove B and C. And now remove C and D right here. Don't forget to change your estimates by converting them to numbers. Now again, a hierarchical chart has several columns of criteria. We want to separate now male and female into their own columns. So I'll do a few modifications here. First, I'll add a new row, but I'll also add a new column. I'll move male to its new column and female And I'll delete respective estimates. And I'll call this column sex. I'll call this education. And I'll call this earnings. There are charts in Excel that are particularly well suited to give you visual insights into data like this one. For instance, a three map chart. It provides a hierarchical view of your data and it makes it really easy for you to spot patterns. The three branches are represented by rectangles and each sub-branch is shown as a smaller rectangle. The tree map chart displays categories by colors and can easily show lots of data which would be very difficult with any other type of chart. So let's check it out. Select your table and make sure you format as table to unlock features in Excel. My table has headers has to be checked off. 
click OK. Now go into the Insert tab and select Recommended Charts. Select the tree map and click OK. Let's expand a little bit and check it out. You can see that the same options that are available for other charts are available here. For instance, let me just change the title. Let me call Earnings by Sex by Education. So when you click on the chart and you click in Design, you see there are the options. So you can experiment with different colors of this chart as well. Tree map charts are good for comparing proportions within the hierarchy. However, tree map charts aren't great at showing hierarchical levels between the largest category at each data point. A sunburst chart is a much better visual for showing that. Let's see how this same chart looks as a sunburst chart. So here from the ribbon, just change chart type and select sunburst and OK. The sunburst chart is actually quite similar to the donut chart, each level reflecting a category of your information. If you want to move around the categories, for example, instead of earnings by education by gender, you want earnings by gender by level of education, a much more flexible and dynamic way of looking at this data is through creating a pivot table. But this is beyond the scope of this particular course and it will open a new world for manipulating your census data. So, for this tutorial, we only looked at the tree map chart and the sunburst chart. This concludes our overview on how to create hierarchical charts using Excel. For more video tutorials, visit census.gov and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thank you.